Welcome. Today we're going to integrate DB2 with Salesforce.com. All right, specifically a DB2 customers with Salesforce.com accounts. So let's go ahead and get started. Now essentially um, I have Toad for DB2 here and I, I stuck a value into my customers table um, at ABC Holdings um, on Happy Way. All right, and if you're familiar with DB2, you can do the same thing. So let's go ahead and jump into Informatica Cloud. Uh, now what I want to do is make a quick data synchronization task to integrate those DB2 customers with my Salesforce accounts. All right, I have a nice six-step wizard that allows me to walk through the process. Um, I like to do an upsert uh, because it allows me to um, update records that are already there and then insert ones that are not. Um, but that's all I have to do for step one. Um, so remember, I'm following my six-step process. Um, the first thing I want to do is pick my DB2 information. Right? So I pick it from my data source. Now this is pretty easy to set up. Um, I simply went over here and I set up an ODC connection to my DB2, type in my username and password, and I'm good to go. All right, once I pick DB2, I get a list of all the different objects that are available to me with DB2. Um, now I can go ahead and pick my customer object that I made. And of course I get uh, the ABC holdings on Happy Way that I showed you a few minutes ago in the Toad for DB2. All right, so that's my source. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into Target. This is where I can select Salesforce. So I'm grabbing data from DB2 customers. I'm gonna put it into Salesforce accounts. And now you'll see I have access to all the different objects in force.com. Um, you know, starting with account, as far as custom objects, I also have things like campaigns and call centers and documents, opportunities, um, all the joiner objects there, um, as well as, you know, additional custom objects that I might have. If I want to relate objects together, I can hit the relate objects button and I'm good there as well. Um, but we'll go on now to step four. Now step four is uh, where you can define those business rules for moving data. So for example, if I want to grab customers that are only maybe are in a certain state, right, I can do that. I can add many rules. I could do advanced rules um, if I wanted to, um, or I could do nothing at all. All right, so let's go on down to step five, which is a field mapping. You'll notice that on the left side, these are my DB2 customers. And then on the right side, these are my Salesforce accounts. Uh, so of course what I want to do is just make it a matter of drag and drop where I can take my ID and drag it over here to the external ID for the upsert. Um, then of course I can do things like uh, concatenate my streets together because I have two addresses, right? And they fit into one billion street in Salesforce. Now I also have, uh, for example, my city, uh, which is my billing city. I have my state, right, and my zip. All right, so that's pretty easy, and we're all done. You have a nice checklist of what needs to be done, um, and they're all accomplished, and that's all we have to do. So let's go on to the next step, uh, which is where we can define that schedule. Um, of course, I can pick any kind of schedule that I want, every couple minutes, every day, every year. Um, I can do an advanced schedule. For example, if I wanted to do you know, Sundays and Fridays on certain days of the week, or every couple minutes, you know, every month, whatever I want to do. All right, uh, I can also do some pre post-processing commands, which is pretty neat because I can process data with those, some of those old legacy integrations that I have. I can keep them running, um, keep the plate spinning, so to speak. All right, and that's all we have to do there. So DB customer and Salesforce account. Let's go ahead and run this guy. And what you'll see here is uh, in real time, uh, my data is running. I only had the one row, so it just happens in pretty much in a second. All right, so one success row, uh, no errors. Let's go ahead and run over here to Salesforce. Um, I have AB co companies and Bart and Schuler, but I don't have ABC Holdings. Uh, so let's go ahead and search for those guys. There they are. All right, so uh, ABC Holdings, uh, my phone number. There's my address. Uh, the fact that my extra ID is in there and the fact that I just added it just a second ago and we're good to go. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a good day.